Hello and welcome my beautiful earth angels. If you have found this video and you're watching this video right now, if it popped up for you or if you're a regular subscriber, this message has specifically found you for a reason. I do not believe in coincidences and there's going to be a number of people who watch this video, you know, within the whole world. And this group of people is really supposed to hear this collective message. So the other day I felt really called to channel a collective message because not just for myself but collectively and from people around me I'm just noticing so many shifts in energy. It's like there's a lot of intense energy right now. Some of you might even feel like life is becoming less real. It's like there's a big wave of new awakenings or consciousness shifts. There's some intense energy. And I know a lot of people have been experiencing this in the form of tower moments, which, you know, is either mentally or physically, you know, something happening in your physical world to that really shocks you and it almost jumps you into a new perspective, a new way of living, a new mindset. And some people have been doing this internally where, you know, nothing is crumbling on the outside, but internally there's a lot being processed, there's a lot going on. And it's almost as if we're all in this in-between stage. So I have wrote down and I did channel a message for us all. And it, this is going to be describing the energy that we're in right now. And then what is to come and some like guidance on that. So when I was channeling, I was really getting this message that we are letting go to let in flow. Resistance that we have been facing in any areas of our lives. You know, in the way of resistance being... Um, frustration maybe for some or waiting for a lot of us we've been feeling like we're just waiting or we've been feeling like we've been wanting things to change or wanting things to move along make some kind of progress even if we don't know what that progress is but it's been feeling like we've been hitting against a brick wall you know and I'm really getting this message that this resistance that we have been facing that has been causing confusion is being lifted no matter how long you face this we are all having this resistance lifted now so these areas of resistance were blocks for us but not in the way that we might have first thought because these blocks were very divinely timed and i'll get into why but it's really interesting but Basically, there's been new energy that's been waiting to happen. There's been new energy that's been waiting for the green light. Um, and I'll get into what this is and the different versions of this. But just a side note, I think collective readings are really beautiful because it really does prove and just go to show that even though our outside situations and circumstances always look different, right? They're always personal to us. But on the inside, if we ignore the circumstance and look at the energy and the emotions that it's bringing up, it's all very much the same for everyone right now. A lot of people are having old energies brought up to be released. A lot of people have felt like they've been waiting for, as I said, some type of progress, movement, some type of green light. They want to go forward with something. We want to move forward. But um, there's been this divinely guided resistance to stop us until everything is aligned. And the analogy I was really getting through was like, in your path right now, the journey and the energy that's waiting to open up for you, this new beginning, it is, of course, aligned in your path, but it's intertwined with other people's journeys too. So this is where it gets more complicated because I was getting this analogy that, you know, in a dog racing track or a horse racing track, you know how you can take your horse or your dog to the starting line and before they all start, they're in this little box, you know, before the um, gate gets lifted and they all run out. But before they do that, they all need to take their positions in the starting line. And I'm really getting that we feel like we are 
already in our starting position, we're already in our box, and yet we're wondering why isn't the gate being lifted? And it's because there's things around us that we can't see. Like when we're in our box, we can't see all of these other owners trying to get the dogs in into position. You know, we don't know how many are lined up or how many aren't. Um, and so we're in this kind of gate of waiting. But spirit and universe and our higher selves, whatever you believe in, can see this from a higher perspective. And what's happening is that they are specifically waiting on these other parties to get into their position. Because when the gate opens, you all need to be ready. Um, really what Spirit has been doing is waiting for outside factors to align. And that's not on your outside of your physical world. I'm talking about outside factors as in other people. There's people that in this new beginning that you are opening up into that you are divinely guided to cross paths with and this can be for a number of reasons. Maybe some of them are soul tribe and here to help you on your journey. Some of them are opportunities for growth business wise um, and some of them even romantic you know but what I'm getting is that we have to wait for these other parties to align and of course everybody has free will and so although people's spirit guides and spirit teams and higher selves can nudge them towards getting aligned in the position of that gate, not everyone wants to go into the gate because we think, well, why are we going in there? We don't have that awareness. We can't see the track, what's on the other side. And so some of us are panicking, some of us are resisting, and this is completely normal, right? But I'm getting that we're in our gate and we're waiting for all of the other people, all of the other dogs or racehorses to become aligned and ready to go as well. Because how it is, is like, if you have a bowl or there's Say there's like a, a table and say there's seven people standing around this table. Um, they are all holding marbles and these seven people are your spirit guides, your spirit teams. So each marble that they all hold is a soul, is a person in their incarnation. And they are waiting for everyone's marbles to feel ready, to feel comfortable and to make a mental or outside external choice to go ahead with this new beginning. Because as I said, this is really aligning um, with other people's paths as well. The thing that you're opening up into is it's really, really going to be intertwining with a lot of different people that I don't think you quite expect and so when they roll their marbles out onto this table they need it to, to be the perfect time so that <clears throat> instead of them just rolling everywhere and never hitting each other they all kind of collide and cross paths exactly where they're supposed to and see so it's kind of like when we live along our journey sometimes we're just thinking about it as ourselves but really our journey is always intertwining with other souls' paths, other people's journeys. And this is why, you know, sometimes there can be blocks, not because of us. It's just timing is of the essence, is what I really get, is an emphasis on timing um, within this situation. And time isn't necessarily real in the higher dimensions. In the 3D, we perceive it as linear time, but in the higher, it's not necessarily real. But there is a such thing as timing and spirit wants you to align in perfect time with what opportunities are meant for you in this new beginning. So I do have some examples of what I kind of, what I feel this energy to be like. So I'll, I'll read you what I wrote down in the channeling. And I also got the message as well from spirit that everything's already booked in. Meaning like there's things that are booked in, fated to happen at a specific time and it's just waiting for all of these pieces to really come together. There's a really precise defined timing in this path that's opening up for you is what I get from your spirit team. So this is what is this new beginning surrounding. So big change is what I get. Um, a new This new beginning is surrounding progressive movement forward. Uh, for those of you watching in your business, in a relationship, within a life change or move, 
or to start a new direction, to start a new path, right? You want to progressively go along your journey. This is us waiting to move forward, to go ahead with something that feels like it's been on the edge, just waiting for the all clear and to move out. So some of you feel like this is involving another energy or person, like you're waiting for them to be ready. Um, and I really got the energy of spirit saying like there's people catching up. Now this isn't that anyone's further ahead or uh, behind than us, it's just they're catching up in alignment with us, right? And if you feel like you've been waiting on another party, this can be a number of things. For some of you, this is a romantic situation where you're waiting on another person, like there's this very much energetic bouncing back and forth and it's like, why isn't anything progressing? Why isn't anything happening? And it's because Spirit's been waiting for this other person to maybe energetically or spiritually um, ascend more so that you can align onto the same frequency to move forward. I saw 1122 when I said that. You might be seeing angel numbers recently, 1122, 1133, 1144, 1155, 111, um, 333, 444. Okay, they're just some that I was getting through. But if it's not you waiting, feeling like you're waiting on a person, again, some of you could be waiting on another party, such as an organization, or um, if it's not a person romantically, you, this could be like business-wise collaboration, you're waiting for news from someone, or you're waiting for another party to be ready to do something. Some of you, um, and this is a specific few of you watching this video, are actually moving. You're either moving jobs or you're moving houses or you're doing something with some sort of travel or moving and it's like you're waiting on a another party. It's not in your hands. Either you're waiting for like the landlord to say yes you can or you're waiting for a friend to be in alignment with you so you can do this journey together. Um, and for some of you, it's not that you're waiting necessarily on an outside factor. Some of you feel like you've been waiting for the universe. So those of you who feel like you are in co-creation, that, um, that you have a open communication already with your spirit team and that you believe yourself to be co-creating and manifestors, conscious manifestors, I get the vibe that you guys have been waiting for spirit. You've been waiting for spirit to align something. One, two, three, four. Uh, you may have been seeing one, two, three, four, but this is like, yeah, waiting for that alignment. And there's some big messages coming about this still. Some of you have been waiting as well on some type of news or clarity or information from another source. So as I said earlier, some of you could be dealing with legalities, waiting for documents or, you know, waiting for like government processes or systems. And yeah, so you will have to use your own intuition uh, because you will know exactly which version is for you because everyone watching is in one of them. So use your own intuition to know that if your situation sounds like any of those things, then this message that is coming is going to deeply be for you. I then asked Spirit, what do we need to hear about this all clear or this waiting period that we feel like we're in, this in-between, we're in between two timelines, we're in between this normal and version of self that has been existing for maybe like the past three, one to three years, we've built up normals, right, in this chapter, and we're waiting to actually jump onto a new timeline now, so we're in this in-between very much, and Spirit told me that we are really in an important phase of this process, that we're not just waiting, that this is a very significant part of not just our healing journeys, um, but also our journeys to manifestation and using manifestation as a tool and gaining confidence and belief in ourselves as well. We are in this waiting period and it's acting as a silence. Some of you feel like you've been waiting on some kind of movement from spirit or for some outside changes to happen. And because we've been waiting and waiting and not seeing that progress, it's kind of acting as silence and silence is a mirror 
silence is a mirror for our minds for our self just think it think about it this way as you know like say a child right um when they're interacting and they if they really wanted something of their parent you know and imagine you just stopped talking to them you started ignoring them and then they would then go through all these different stages of like maybe crying to get your attention and then maybe sulking and then maybe feeling sad and then eventually right they'll get and and this is just an analogy um i know it's not a very nice one because we don't like anyone upset but <laughs> This is essentially us and spirit. Spirit is like our, our parent, our guide. And it's like we've been asking them and, and, and some of us have been frustrated with them um, in a way that we're like, why isn't this happening? And what they've done is they've turned silent. And this was for a very important reason. So if you feel this way, know that um, you are not disconnected, that you're exactly where you're supposed to be and that they are not doing this or creating any type of frustration to you they're simply doing it for you because in this process of us being represented as this child this is us losing hope in our manifestation right this is us doubting the universe uh, because we're using our outside to dictate our belief of what's going to happen next on our inside and it really came to this massive analogy that um, is seeing believing or, or is believing seeing and I'll explain that on a much deeper level for you guys in a second but I just want to make sure I've covered this uh, part of this energy right here so that this silence has been acting as a mirror uh, awaiting and a pause in this in between these two timelines of new versions of ourselves and is very much a mirror it's to trigger and bring up these energies of us doubting or questioning ourselves us overthinking and thinking again and again thinking so much about things we're getting all of that thinking out we are getting all of that doubt out because spirit's kind of saying you know they want us to deeply believe that things are possible that we can attain our goal or what we are desiring right um and to manifest it takes an unwavering core belief you know you you strongly deep down to your core believe that that is going to happen for you and not even that it's going to happen that it's possible that it's actually a possibility that you could see yourself there no matter what the distance is this is how you manifest is with that pure belief and so in this process we've been manifesting something either a connection opportunity a big life change a move um you know a job change anything like this and um, what's been happening is we've been going along this process and spirit's like, right, let's clear out this energy that we can't actually feel or be aware of ourselves. Everything's been going along this path. We've been getting inspiration. We've been getting nudges and we felt so clear. And now all of a sudden we're questioning. We're questioning, is this really for us? Do I have what it takes? Will things ever really align? Is it too hard for me to get there? And spirit wants you to know that if you're doubting um this process then these are energies that they have been lingering really deep down and to this point up until now we've been seeing outside progress or outside clarification synchronicities that have made us um confirm and acknowledge that we are on the right path but spirit's saying but what about your belief all on your own what about if we draw away do you still believe and have full faith and confidence that you will be able to attain those desires, get your deepest wishes, you know, without us confirming it, you know, you in yourself, just you as a soul, um, is your belief so pure and strong? And it will be after this phase that we are all collectively going through. So I just want you guys to know that we're collectively going through this, meaning we've all been going through this process of doubt, of confusion, of waiting, of maybe some frustration, 
frustration of one day feeling really great about things and the next really feeling like am I just making this up am I delusional to think that this could be real or possible and it's clearing out the last of that doubt out the bottom of the barrel for us because this silence is showing us that actually we wouldn't be doubting at all right now even if spirit had left and even if there was more waiting time uh, we wouldn't be doubting if we really deep down believed in ourselves. So I'm going to read you what I wrote. This might repeat a couple of things I've just spoken about, but I just want to make sure that this message is really clear. So we know or we've wanted something to happen, but then we're waiting, 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 and it doesn't change or get any clearer. We suddenly start to question ourselves and the universe doubting and losing the trust we had in them and really what this is is it's about our connection with hope and doubt and patience and impatience and that hope is essentially belief right and if you are believing in something if you're hopeful then it makes that energy of patience because we wouldn't be impatient unless we had some type of fear that we weren't going to get it and it's this fear of not being able to get something that creates impatience because we suddenly panic and we want to get it straight away or we or you know we want there to be movement straight away to see that we're progressing it's like we get a bit worried about the, how our manifestations are ultimately panning out or unfolding for us because deep deep down we always held this lack of trust but we couldn't feel it at the time and so all of this is being brought up to just be released that after this period we will again get confirmation and movement forward on this specific thing that you have been wanting to do change or move into this new beginning something's going to happen and it's going to clear any doubt that has been created that has been brought up from deep within and afterwards we're all going to just be left a more confident and deeply um deeply confident and have so much more power in our belief towards ourselves and our own journey because we'll be like oh you know I felt all of that doubt and yet it still happened because it's like it was all just clearing out of us. We've been having doubts. I don't say this just like we've been doubting out of nowhere. I say that these doubts always stem from past experiences, from things we've been taught when we've been growing up, from either society, schools, work environments, parents, friends, you know, anything like that and it's really just bringing these doubts up to reflect and show you that these are not you that when you doubt yourself this is not you these are things you have picked up um from the outside from the external world even from past experiences right it's like we doubt it because we think it's going to go the same way as the past or you know we compare it to past times or realisticness of it happening and spirit is just wanting to break down this connection this illusion of the physical world and the internal world and what this really leads on to is the fact that our internal world is a complete projection and reflection of our inside world of our inside mind and so of course they've been needing to clear out this energy these uh energies of doubt and frustration and waiting because while we still held them inside of us but we didn't realize we couldn't feel it unless it was triggered up for us you know unless spirit gave us this silence time of waiting for us to sit with ourselves as a mirror you know until we go through that we cannot release it and now that we're releasing it you know our inside is a reflection of the out and so if you see something as possible on the inside it suddenly starts creating it to be possible on the outside and this is where we get to the analogy of is believing seeing or is seeing believing now this whole journey and process has obviously been through for many things for our life experiences and you know experiencing new and having some nice surprises to come to us and nice experiences but it's also very linked into our spiritual journey of creating more true power of belief true power of belief to power manifestations if you're watching this it's because in this lifetime on this journey you have chosen to learn manifestation to be a manifester 
a manifester in this incarnation right now that you always wanted to manifest your dream life and co-create with spirit and what manifesting is is it's alchemizing energy from within it's becoming a master of your mind and your internal world and so this process right here what we've been in is very much linked to and is a pinnacle a, a pivotal point within our spiritual journey of manifestation in that after we pass through this it's almost as if our lives are going to become more lucid that manifestation is going to be viewed in a different way as a lot more capable um, of you being a lot more capable than you thought in the past and it's because we're going to be seeing physical proof of that because we've cleared out this doubt and, and that's what we're doing now because we're clearing out old energies and going through this process of alchemization of being left in the silence to go mad we're by ourselves and, and then slowly come back round again that we're going to physically see our manifestations after this coming into fruition a lot quicker than they ever have done in the past and this doesn't just go away we're going to keep that for the rest of our lives so this has been a very important part within our journey and maybe that's why it has been a longer one as well we've had to exercise a lot of patience but in this analogy of is believing seeing or is seeing believing, we have to look at seeing as external validation, as external proof. And we have to look at believing as an internal validation and an internal knowing and belief. So how it is, is that Spirit was saying that we cannot see we cannot see external validation, external progress forward if we do not first believe, believe internally that we can see external progress and alignment on our outside. But how can we believe if we're always waiting on seeing? How can we internally believe that these things can manifest in our lives if we're always waiting to see external validation, confirmation or proof first? It's that you have to believe in yourself first, that the outside um, circumstances do not dictate how possible your manifestation is. It does not matter what your outside circumstance look like, no matter how impossible it might look like on the outside for what you want to change your life into into and manifest this starts on the inside you will never see your outside reality align for you and things start to take shape until you can see in your mind that it's possible how can we see it possible on the outside if we cannot see it possible uh, inside first so what that means is that a pure example um you might be wanting to uh move jobs right you want a new job you're feeling uncomfortable and then you're thinking well how do i do this and it's almost as if this energy of believing that you can manifest a job that you can align with and attract the perfect dream job for you even though you're in that position there instead of say waiting to be like, well, actually my contract's not run out at work, so I can't physically do it now, you know, things aren't aligned on the outside, so I can't maybe believe that that can happen right now. Because things will align on the outside after they align on the inside. If you're in a contract and you decide, you know what, I don't accept this reality anymore, I want to move into a new reality, and you put that out there and you believe it's possible, then spirits basically saying you know fuck the contract like they would create something if you made that internal belief and you said no i know it's going to happen i don't care about my physical circumstance maybe the next week you get an email all around your work saying oh my god all the work contracts are being changed and now they're suddenly freed up so much sooner and then you can go and do that job it's like things can't align until you first believe them possible to align don't ever wait for your outside to align first because your outside is a reflection and projection of your inside and so the longer you're waiting on your outside your outside is waiting on you because your outside can't change uh, unless you change your inside but your inside won't change unless you're waiting to see different on the outside 
I hope that makes sense, you guys. <clears throat> So we need to start believing before needing to see validation and outside progress. Start believing we can, okay? Start believing something's possible before we can even see it possible, before it can even be a realistic uh, plan of action, you know? Before, even if there's such big blocks, it's like impossible in your physical circumstance to jump from here to here. You need to believe it can be because it will be if you believe it can be. So we need to stop waiting around for us to see things align to believe that they can happen because believing they will can align things for us. So I have some affirmations that we can take with us uh, from this reading um, into our new beginning for us. I hope that this message really helped you if you found it. Um, I really get that we're already having big awakening, big mindset shifts right now. And it's, this is a big point in all of our lives. We feel like we've been waiting on something for a long time because it's, it's going to be a really big change, right? Even if you've not been waiting on something for a long time, you feel like you've been waiting longer than you should be, like longer than it normally probably would take, right? So again, this could be a connection. You feel like you're waiting on someone else or you feel like, this connection is waiting on spirit to align you both together or this can be you waiting to head down a new direction to start something new to make a big life change to move house to move jobs anything like that um yeah where you could be waiting on an outside party as well so the affirmations that we have today is the path is becoming clearer and more aligned the more I start to be able to believe without seeing. The next affirmation is, I am growing an internal trust and belief that is solely grounded in me knowing I can be a creator of my reality. Because even though sometimes we wait for universe, you guys, we are universe. As consciousness, everyone is the same source of consciousness, meaning we're not separate, we're not individual souls. Even at a soul level, when we say we're not our person, we're not our avatar, we're our soul, even our souls are all the same, like we're part of the same consciousness. So we might think, oh, we're waiting on our outside, we're waiting on universe, but we are the universe. We are the creators of our reality. So... I am growing an internal trust and belief that does not seek any form of confirmation or validation from the outside physical world. The next affirmation is, my path doesn't align and I follow. I choose my path by setting manifestations and my path follows and opens as I internally align. The next affirmation is, my outside reality is a projection of the inside and I recognize that as an internal, as my internal aligns with a belief that something can happen, then that is when the outside will start to align too, physically showing me that it is possible. My physical circumstance can only ever open up possibilities when I have already felt something and believed it to be possible on an inside internal level too. I just wanted to leave it with this message that belief takes a lot of inner strength and courage. And I'm not saying that it's like, oh, you can't do it because you're, you're not strong and you're not courageous. It's not like that at all, you guys. It's that as humans, we naturally face doubt. We naturally face the experiences that we have been left with in the past, you know. We have energies to deal with all individually on an internal level and that healing is a lifelong journey and to embrace our imperfections, embrace the fact that you are worried, embrace the fact that you have been doubting because it's in this process where we say, I'm, you know, I I know how to manifest, I'm not, I know I'm not doubting, even if we're doubting deep down, that suppresses the energy from being really least rather than if we can just say you know what I have been doubting I have felt like life is against me recently and I don't know why but as long as we're acknowledging it that is how we release the energy so know that your imperfections are what make you perfect and not only this they are what help everyone else to learn and grow as well you know 
this channel message is for everyone collectively meaning me as well and i have been dealing with this process too of doubting and you know feeling am i just crazy and it's like it's all a process of alchemy it's okay to be negative it's okay to be low vibrational because they're energies that are clearly there being held and we are alchemists and we can transform any energy so it's not about denying energies that we're feeling it's about accepting embracing and then alchemizing and knowing that we have all power to alchemize within us it doesn't cost any money it barely takes any time you know these can be you just zoning out through the day for five minutes when you daydream it's like we're always doing things if you're washing up if you're um making dinner if you're making a cup of tea if you're just uh, brushing your teeth or in the shower it's like there's so many opportunities to connect with yourself in this way but just remember this is a very vulnerable process we're all going through and the universe knows exactly what to do to make those situations difficult for specifically us so if you were to tell someone your situation um you know and you would feel like you speaking it feels a bit like well why am i worried about this i shouldn't be worried and i'm just going to leave it other people are going through worse things that please do not be that way because spirit knows exactly what situations would trigger us and create intense emotions in us so it doesn't matter if on the outside you know you think oh i shouldn't be this upset or it shouldn't be affecting me or you know other people get on with this all the time because our journey is individual and it's clearly um, happening because spirit knows that that is what our weak point is, you know, that's our, that's our trigger point and they need that, they need to trigger up what we feel because we don't always feel what we feel, so they need to bring it to the surface for us in order to, for us to release it. Everything is happening for us, not to us and I can't wait for this new beginning, just be patient with yourselves give yourselves love you are really a beautiful soul of manifestation if you're on this right now and if you stay to the end then i really hope that this brought you some clarity because i feel it deep within me that we're all going through a real big awareness and consciousness upgrade and that after this too i think as well you know our throat chakras our third eyes our crown chakras they are going to be upgrading we're going to have a stronger connection to source after this journey and along and through this journey it is strengthening our connection to our own internal uh, power of manifestation co-creation uh, belief and confidence so i love you all deeply with all of my heart and i just wish you the best on your journeys um yes and I will speak to you all soon. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below, my angels. I love you so much. Have a beautiful day.